Welcome, Leahs. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. Leahs, I got to say to you guys, you got to be... Um, this is the, um, Pis the Pisces season. Pisces season begins from February 19th until March 20th. Whatever is happening and transpiring, Leah, you got to open up to the energies and please write down your sweet dates when it comes up to the season, okay? It is a season reading, not a monthly reading. It is Pull, um, choose a crystal. When you choose the crystal, you will recognize how to resolve some sort of a problem, issues that is going to be coming up for you guys. So recognize this, be aware, be ready um, to take on some sort of a problem, issues that will come up. All right, my dears, let's go in this. So um, what we see is that in the first week, this is the week of the 19th until the 28th, the last week of February, Leo. So you will get some sort of a um, situation where you can collaborate with other people. So it could be work. Um, someone could be asking you to come on board. Um, you could be moving to another team. Um, it's going to be team working. Whatever is transpiring, the 19th until... Um, the 28 is going to be about teamwork. It's about you um, connecting with other people, networking with other people in order to collaborate something, in order to create something in your world and in your life. So be aware, recognize what is happening, what is transpiring in this first week because it's going to be leading you um, to networking with other people and create together, okay? It's about working together. So it could be... Some of you deciding to move in with family. Some of you are deciding to start something with your friends. Some of you are deciding um, to, um, you know, ask people if you can come on board or change department, that sort of a thing. So recognize it is all about you collaborating and working with other people. In um, the second week, the second week, right, these days is down. It is from the... First until the seven. So the first until the seven of March, what is going to be happening and transpiring is that the wheel of fortune is here in the river. So, um, you know, it, it could be that some of you had um lose out on some sort of a friendship agreement situation that was going on. It is going to be returning to you. So it's as if. Uh, you lose a couple of coins, these coins is going to be coming back. I see a connection of people who are returning in your life, and this is going to be good. So in the second week of the first week of March, what is going to be happening and transpiring is that a whole lot of people, a whole lot of situation is going to be coming back. Uh, business, clients, that sort of a thing could be coming back for you guys, and this is going to be good. Something that you, Leos, have lost could be returning to you, so recognize this. This is a positive thing because the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is saying that some sort of a change is, is coming in and something that you lose out on in the past is going to be coming back in this week. So hoping up for the energies. Then we look at the third week. The third week is from the 8th until the 14th. The 8th until the 14th of March. Please write these, city, these um, um, numbers down. You are going to be dealing with your husband or wife, whoever this person is, whoever this situation is. You're going to be um, dealing with your husband or wife, whoever this husband or wife is, or whatever is transpiring. It could be a family member, but it could also be a husband or a wife that some of you could be dealing with and having some sort of issues with, okay? So it is in the reverse, and you got to balance this out because whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring you gotta recognize so uh, that you need to heal a situation with this family member in order for you to move forward so some sort of a problem is going to be coming up uh, for you leos where it could be your children your mom your father you know your parents and some sort of an un balance issues between these people that you have to work out so it can come up as kids it can come up as your partner it can come up as your parents so recognize this and recognize that um some sort of a problem situation from the past with your children or your parents 
is going to be returning or with your ex-husband is going to be returning. So be ready because this information is going to be coming in and you're going to be recognizing um, what was happening and transpiring and recognize that you have to make these changes as you move forward. So uh, be aware. And um, a lot of you, some sort of an un unexpected situation could be coming in. So be aware of this, but um, you're going to just pick it up, run with it and work it out. And it is going to be okay. Then when we look at the fourth week, the fourth week is about, um, you know, uh, um, personal freedom. Um, and this personal freedom is going to be moving you in a positive direction. Okay. So when we look at the energy of, um, 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 uh, personal freedom, we're thinking about you freeing yourself from some sort of a obstacle, some sort of a unhealthy situation. Okay. Personal freedom is coming up as forgiveness. Okay. Um, forgiving people for um, what they have done and releasing yourself and standing your ground and releasing yourself out of uh, some sort of an unconventional situation that was transpiring in your world and standing up for yourself and letting a group of people know, hey, I am freeing myself from the traps, the trades that you people have got me in and I'm releasing myself because I'm going to be speaking up for myself. I'm going to be standing up for myself. And by that, I'm going to be taking back my personal freedom and, um, and forgiving the ones who have hurt me the most. And, you know, this is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. It is about when you can recognize uh, where you are because this is this spicy season is about helping you the spicy people is letting you know that there were people who some of you had collaborated with in the past and somehow they're returning in your world and they're going to be helping you to release yourself from some sort of a contract some sort of an agreement something it could be a marriage a divorce that is going to be ending so expect between the 19th of march until um the 20th of march that you're going to be getting something as if your divorce is final that this sort of a thing because it's going to be good it's going to be absolutely wonderful it's going to be positive it is going to be about you recognizing what is happening what is transpiring and that people are going to be coming back from the past in order to um rebalance some sort of a problem and issues a lot of you are going to be having problems and issues with your parents um your husband your wife your partners um your kids and these are a current situation that has happened in the past that is coming back in the future where you're going to be recognizing the play and what was happening and how you're going to be regaining your power by you know letting people know hey this is where it goes this is where it stopped this is where i am going to be freeing myself um in this pisces season and this is going to be good so um, it is really, really powerful. It, you know, there is, there is nothing about, the, um, um, this, this timeline, um, that is, is, is really instable. Uh, absolutely nothing. Let's look at your sweet dates. Your sweet dates is going to be uh, the 19th of February until the 28th. Okay. So that is going to be your sweet date. So write this down. Your sweet dates is going to be the 19th of February until the 20th of March. Get this down. Understand this. Then when the, the second sweet date is going to be um, the 15th of March until the 20th of March. So write down your sweet dates. Um, this is when things are going to be occurring for you in a very very positive way uh, way so understand that you need to use this energy that is coming in leos and get up start up look at what is happening recognize uh, 
the place that you're in and recognize that whatever is coming back from the past that has to do with these family members, you got to heal it. You got to heal it because the end of this Scorpion season, you got to release this and understand that you got to take back your power by releasing whatever that was happening and transpiring and taking back your powers in a very positive way because that is going to be pushing you to recreate um, wonderful desires for yourself in a very positive way. So, you know, congratulations, you Leos. You have been going through hardship. You have been going through things that uh, was imbalancing you. And now you're going to be recognizing that you're going to be, um, you know, freeing yourself from all these bondages and taking back your freedom. I gotta go. Show your love by thumbs up. Let me know how it goes. Go and choose your crystal. That crystal will guide you to what direction to go. I love you. Namaste.